Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kriteman. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to model a chain. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a spline object and drop it into our modeling room, or assembler room, and we go into the spline modeler. Let's grab a, a, a profile, and you can pick uh, rectangle, rounded rectangle, oval, or polygon. Let's go ahead and pick polygon, and press shift, and drag across your drawing plane. Now a dialog will come up for number of sides. You can put as many as you want in there. I'm going to go ahead and put one in there just because I can. Eight. And uh, you have a, a nice uh, mini shaped polygon here. Let's go ahead and uh, modify this a little bit by let's make this one tab. One tab. And let's go ahead and push shift Command C and bring it to the center. Now, uh, let's grab a let's go to geometry extrusion preset, and uh, we're going to grab torus. We might do something with spiral later because spiral is kind of cool. But uh, let's go ahead and do torus right now. And distance to axis is fine, and you have a nice roundish shape. And if you want to make your if you want to make it thicker, you can uh, drag. You can drag uh, the profile you made out, and you can get bigger and smaller uh, sizes there. Or you can just go with the, the go in the shape area and mess with it that way. Let's go ahead and grab grab the sides because this is going to be chain, so we're gonna, it's going to have been pulled on probably a couple of times. Elongate this. And you can kind of do that too, or that. And you can modify it however you want to. Um, let's go ahead and jump out here and check it out. It's good. It's kind of what we want. Now, um, let's go ahead and drag that up a little bit. Now let's duplicate it by with Command D or Control D in, on uh, Windows. Command D. It's been duplicated. Let's drag it down about halfway-ish. Bring it up just a smidge. And let's go to motion. You could you could push R and rotate it manually, or you could go to motion and go to see the axis that we moved it up and down on. That's the blue, the blue axis is the uh, Z axis, the up and down axis. Let's go over there and push 90. Enter pow. And that's just what we want. Let's go ahead and grab this and this and do the duplicate thing again. Duplicate and drag this down about to middle of this. Might have to adjust it a little bit, but that's all right. Um, now let's grab another one. Let's go ahead and grab them all again and uh, duplicate it one more time and drag it down to about there. And if you if you really want it chain like you'd you'd want to uh, kind of uh, put the hot points where you want them and you know you could probably link it with bones and that kind of thing. But uh, as it stands, if you if you just want to kind of get an idea of what Carrera's physics do, uh, we're going to do a little something here. Let's go ahead and not this one. We're going to not pick this top one. We're going to pick this one. Shift select shift select shift select shift select and shift select go to motion and our keyframe method is going to be physics quality is okay ba 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 let's go down here and push 4 enter and uh, normally what we what we do is we uh, simulate physics by pushing this but it's not going to show up in here. But since it's already done the calculation, let's go over here. And I've pre-rendered a I pre-rendered one, but I'm going to check out and see if I can get it to render uh, render again this time. 
Oh, actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and check this out. And you notice that the uh, the uh, sides are facing the way they should, and they are reacting to the physics of Carrera the way they should, for the most part. I mean, there's a little bit, kind of hovers a little bit. But uh, yeah, you could do you could do better modifications. You can uh, up the quality a little bit, and uh, you'd have yourself a nice little chain just by doing physics. Uh, the other way is uh, is kind of tedious and uh, not as accurate. So anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.